Hi, I'm Angela Wolf, fashion designer and online instructor. And in this lesson, I'm going to talk about taking a straight A-line skirt, but what happens if you're using a thick fabric and this waistband's just a little bit too much? Well, let me show you a few examples here. The skirt that I have here is a tweed, and if I were to fold this over four times, well, twice and then again, that's a lot of fabric to go on your waistband. So let me show you an alternative. Using grow grain ribbon. This is a thick wool, it's lined, and if you look closely, this is a surged edge. So all I did is surge the top edge. I laid the grow grain ribbon, a thin piece, right over the top, just like this, and I top stitched. Now how simple is that? For the, where the zipper is, all I did is at the end, take this over, fold it, and stitch. Very simple to do. In fact, if you're afraid of sewing a waistband, this is a way to get out of that. Here's a skirt, and I cut this on the bias, but the side seams just didn't look very, I didn't like the look. So I added a piece of grow grain ribbon. This is the seam. You can see I pressed it open. I laid this down the center of the seam, stitched on both sides. That's it. And here, the waistband, I decided to keep this, and I added just a piece of grow grain ribbon to kind of give it a whole look. So that was more for decoration. That's another idea. This is my fringe skirt. I love the skirt, but it's really thick. And up here, I actually took some of this fringe and had it sticking out. It wasn't very attractive. So instead, I cut it off, which is why you see a few little pieces here, and instead just put a piece of grow grain ribbon on the inside. So I'm gonna take two pieces. This comes in different colors, different widths. Let's go to the sewing machine and let me show you how to sew this. If you have a waistband where you just want to attach this on the outside of the seam, all you have to do is at the edge of your zipper, take this, fold it over, because you'd want to finish your, where your zipper is. And using a straight stitch, I'm using a contrasting thread so you can see what I'm doing. I think white or cream colored. And you just stitch, that's it. And when I sew this on, I don't even pin this in place. I take the ribbon, I hold it right here, stitch. Go a little bit further. I think you get the idea. It's so simple. The one thing you need to be careful of, sew the ribbon on the top side and don't let the bottom fabric stretch. You want to ease that fabric in, otherwise your waistband's going to gap. So that's one way to finish it. Now, what if your fabric is not too thick, but you just want to finish it with this as the inside? So the outside of your waistband looks like this. All you have to do is exactly what I did here. Flip this to the right side, and then you would tack this at the side seams, and it will stay under. That's another idea for you. All right, and what about the, thick, the thicker grow grain? There's a couple ways to do this. Something that I like to do is stitch this right halfway in the middle of the grow grain. Just get it to stop there. I'm just going to hold it in place. Okay, fold this under. So this would be where your zipper is. Fold this in half, and then fold this in half. Make sure my hand, get my hand out of the way here. And you're gonna stitch on the edge. So let me just fold it. And again, starting at your, where your zipper is, I'm pretending I have a zipper in here. Fold this in half and just put your fabric inside of there. Do not stretch your fabric. Again, you're just gonna stitch on the edge bit further and I'm just gonna okay let's see what we have here so this is one where if you want to enclose that entire waistband area you would just fold this in half and stitch on the edge now that's pretty simple this doesn't fray you could use it on anything a seam or a waistband and that's our last tip for the season on sewing a-line skirts including all the pattern variations I hope you enjoyed it